Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Arma. Uh, we were talking about building a base in the last sec session since we had picked out a good place to build. And I had recorded the building and some things have happened. Uh, unfortunately that recording is lost to time and I instead would like to give you a nice base tour. Go ahead and turn around here and take a look at it. So this is probably the least awe-inspiring corner of the base here. So as you can tell, we've got a fuel shed here set up so that I can land my helicopters. It is a nice, nice safe space both to park my vehicles, park my heli, and refuel said heli. On top of these fuel station sheds, we've got the ability to repair our vehicle for pop tabs instead of having to have duct tape, and it is quite reasonable. I've got ramps on either side to make getting on getting off real easy, and just in case I need to bring a vehicle into or onto the platform for easy takeoff or dropping things off, I can. Uh, these big poles. These are some nice lights. Landing here at night will be super duper easy. You can already see that we are quite a bit brighter than everything else around us, and that's just going to make everything so, so easy. There's been some very minor rearranging of the building stuff and things area. We still have our large container. I mean, you got to have it. Uh, I'm not ready to move everything out of that into the brand new bunkers now this is the back side and I've got lighting over here as well we've got two bunkers to fill so we are not gonna run out of storage space for quite some time the initial plan had been a single solar tower this one on the very end surrounded by some pier boxes and then some more pier boxes for the helis to land on I actually had all of the pier boxes ready to go ready to put down built i wanted to make things quick and easy for the build video and they were reasonably quick and easy unfortunately between the time i logged in one day and had the pier boxes built and the time i logged in the next day they had removed pier boxes which is why we've got these ramps here and the fuel station sheds instead of pier boxes i think they would have worked out quite a bit better but i mean it happens Instead of these towers, that's what was going to make the walls of my area. The, the plan was always the plan was always to have bunkers on one end, have a tower on the other end, and then I was going to have pier boxes for the other sides. And as you see here, we've got a nice hangout area. We have a fridge full of frosty cold beverages. A table, card table for doing card table things, a fire for staying warm or just enjoying the glow and the friendship that happens around a bonfire. And we've got a base computer. This base laptop is going to allow us to use the six security cameras I've got hanging around here. While I'm still a little bit bummed about not having the pier boxes, just the range that these allow us to see and how solidly built this area is, I'm not too terribly disappointed. Let's go ahead and hop inside. So I don't have much in the way of furniture or anything in here just yet, but that is on its way. We've got our bunkers. They, they look a little funky, but I mean, they work. But we've got access to all of the solar tower roofs. And I'd like to show you the top of this one over here. That view on the way up isn't half bad, both of my base and the rest of the world. As you can tell, I've got my uh, gamma and brightness up a little bit because it is night. Let's go ahead and drop that down and see what it looks like. Okay, even with everything turned down, this thing is a shining beacon and you can see everything I think if there is a next step 
the next step is going to be to have some kind of bedroom, so you know, barracks, whatever, some place to sleep. And I think I'd like to see about closing some gaps, but there's only so much I can do for that. Building an armor is not maybe the easiest thing you can do. Some lights up here would be nice, but apparently you cannot build higher than 30 meters. And these towers just put you over that mark. Because after I found out the peer boxes idea would not work, uh, I quickly moved on to this and thought, oh, hey, it'd be really nice to have some kind of platform at the top to land on. Just an entirely raised base. Here we come out on the top. All that nice red light. You can see it from a very long way off. And you can see quite a long ways off as well. Unfortunately, there's not a good way to get from tower to tower. But realistically, I, I haven't run into that issue all that often. And yes, it takes quite a while to get up top. But getting back down is quite easy. I can either repel or just leap off and then parachute down. That is how tall our building is. Oh, we've made it down here to the hangout spot. This place will grow and become better over time, and I will keep you guys updated on that. Uh, look forward to some more Arma stuff coming down the pipeline since I have this nice, awesome new base. And we'll see what we can do with it. I think there's some good things coming down the line, and I want you to be there. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one.